Hi, it's Tash. Welcome to Tash's Library. Today is the beginning of Peace Talks for Realmathon. And for this, we need to read as many books as possible in the 48 hours, and we need to start and finish them. So what I've done is I've left my three shortest books for this weekend, and let's see what they are. The first one is Quantum Theory Cannot Hurt You by Marcus Chown. This is just over 200 pages once you take away the, oh, it's even less than that. So it's just under 200 pages if you take away the glossary, etc. So that's, that could be a really quick read. The other one I have, I have on my Kindle, and that's A Prelude to Ashes by Tiago Abdullah. So that's the prequel to A Touch of Light, I believe. So that's a possibility. And then I also have, yes, I know this looks chunky, but I've got the second book in the Earthsea Cycle, which is The Tombs of Artuan by Ursula K. Le Guin. And that's about 200 pages as well. Now, the reason I've prioritized these is these three are on my April TBR. So I do want to get them done first. However, if there's still time at the end, I might throw in a few others into the mix. We shall see how I'm feeling. So what I've done is I have written each of those onto a little post-it note that I have wrapped up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it into my glasses case, mainly because I couldn't find anything else small enough that would work. So there they are. And then I'm going to like shake it up so that's a good way to do it isn't it okay and then i'm going to open it up and i'm just going to randomly pull one and let's see what i'm going to be reading first oh a prelude to ashes that is the winner so that's going to be my first one which makes sense because it's actually the shortest so hopefully i can get that done ASAP and I'm so looking forward to this book because I've heard such good things about it and what's even better is it's a host favorite so yes extra points I have my coffee it is a gorgeous day outside so maybe once I finish this one I will actually head outside for the next book <music> And that's done. That's a prelude to ashes. Absolutely done. It took me a little bit longer than I expected because I decided to make myself breakfast in the middle of all that. Um, because even though this readathon has started at GMT midnight, I am of course in Australia, so I decided to stick with the same times. And that was 9 a.m. on Saturday morning for me. And then that's going. To, I'm going to do 48 hours from there. Yeah, so I got a bit distracted, but I have finished the book and it was so good. It was really, really good. Um, it includes some great forbidden love, war invasion, great battle sequences. It's got a really cool brotherly relationship that's reminiscent of Boromir and Faramir. And it gives me vibes of the Heroes of Might and Magic, you know, the computer game. So I... I really enjoyed this read and yes, I'm looking forward to reading A Touch of Light next. But next step now is deciding which book I'm going to read next. Okay, so two more books in the glasses case. Shake it up. I'm actually liking this glasses case. I'm going to use this in future. It's a very cool way of doing it and I'm just going to pull a random one. And let's see what I'm reading next. Ooh. Okay, Quantum Theory Cannot Hurt You. I'm delving into nonfiction for the day, right? So I'm hoping I should be able to finish this today. It might take me a little bit longer because, of course, it is quantum theory. Like, I don't think it's as quick to read as a fantasy. But as I said, just under 200 pages. 
so i think it's quite doable i'm hoping i'll finish this today and hopefully start the last one as well but let's see how we go it's a beautiful day i'm gonna be reading outside and learning some cool things that are gonna blow my mind hopefully pages in and it is absolutely awesome covering some atom basic atom stuff superposition quantum computers uncertainty all those aspects it is so so good and i've now got myself a beer and i picked a really cool holder that i think goes with my reading very very well and I shall continue and see what else I can learn about quantum physics. I was delayed by an accidental nap yes it just happened so but anyway it took a while I had to digest some of what it was saying however Marcus Chown um, explains everything in such an interesting and accessible manner uh, he gives excellent examples real-world examples that can help you try and visualize some of the concepts that he goes over and there's just like some awesome aspects like the sections on gravity are mind-blowing and so interesting and and i read a lot of physics books i love reading this sort of stuff and yet this was just incredible for me um i did really enjoy it i didn't feel like i was just rehashing the same information that I had read before. It was interesting and I learned a few cool things, particularly about gravity. So anyway, if you're interested in physics, definitely give this one a go and it is done. Right, so I've read two of my books that I wanted to read. So of course the final one is going to be the book from the Earthsea Cycle so that is the Tombs of Atuan by Ursula K. Le Guin. And this I have in this massive, really beautiful bind up. Yes, it's massive, but I think the actual Tombs of Atuan is only about 200 pages. Now I'm going to try and finish this tonight. This should take me a lot less time than the book on quantum physics. And, and then that will leave me tomorrow to maybe fit in another book for my TBR and get heaps of points for Peace Talks. We shall see. We shall see. Um, but yes, I'm going to be starting this now. I will have to take a break to cook dinner at some point. But surely 200 pages I could read in a couple hours if I don't sleep again and I should be able to get this completed before bed. Tombs of Atuan are done. I adored that book 
five stars. I assumed it was going to be five stars because The Wizard of Earthsea was amazing. So yeah, I have read three books today. I'm pretty tired. It's 10 p.m. now, but I'm thinking that I have another day and I'm decided that I'm going to go with the next shortest book that's on in on my April TBR and that's the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Yes, I haven't started this one yet this month and yes, I could probably try and fit in some graphic novels and some other novellas, but I don't have a lot of those at this stage and I'm really keen on trying to finish up my TBR just because I am moving. I'm in the process of packing and this is my weekend to sort of catch up on some of my reading. I am a little bit behind and I'm catching up. So if I get four done this weekend, then that only leaves me a few to catch up with them. And, and one of those is quite long. So yes, I think I'm going to do this. I know I could probably get more points by trying to add a few other shorter ones, but I'm pretty certain I can read this. It's just under 300 pages. And yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start this tonight and see how far I go before I start getting sleepy and then I shall continue it tomorrow morning and hopefully get it done by lunchtime or so and then I'll see then I'll then I might throw in some other short books good morning it is the next morning it's a very rainy morning over here a little bit cooler I have my coffee ready to go and last night I did start the Martian Chronicles and I'm about 40 pages in. I got really sleepy. I had to stop, but I've got only about 200 pages to go. So I'm thinking I should finish this by midday or so. We shall see. Um, that's hopefully trying to be very conservative in my estimate. And then I'll see, depending on what comes up during the day. Anyway, I'm going to continue with this. so far kind of almost literary and style but it's engaging me um it seems to be just looking at these failed attempts to land on mars so far we shall see where it goes <laughs> It's done. It's done. I did it before my projected time. Um, so this was awesome. It was such a good read. It's about the attempted and eventually sort of successful colonization of Mars. But it brings in, you know, those themes of imposed culture, um, invasion and racism and prejudice and... And the fact that people can't escape being people. Um, first Contact, um, this is such a thought-provoking book. Um, highly recommended. Right, I've got heaps more time. So I'm off to get some lunch. And I thought I might be able to read something while I'm eating. So I'm going to do another pick. I've thrown in a few other short books into my glasses case and let's see what I get. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to open it with one hand, but let's go and I'm just going to peek 
this one, which I can't see. There we go. Let's see what this one is. It is. It's going to take forever to open one-handed. And it's a psalm for the wild built by Becky Chambers. So that's what I'm going to be reading while I eat lunch. I have finished some for the wild built and it is such a beautiful novella just so thought provoking and heartwarming and just gave me so much to think about and it's just gorgeous it's it's about this monk who decides to become a tea monk um, and travel into the countryside and then he meets um, a wild built robot Yes, highly recommend it. All right, so it's now 4 p.m. I've got till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for my readathon, 48 hours. So I think I'm gonna try and be brave and pick another book. Can I do it? Can I read a sixth book? I don't know, let's give it a go. I mean, I think I've only got a few left in here. So let's go with this one. And this one is, what is it, what is it, is it terrifying? Witch Hats Atelier, Volume 1. Excellent. I am happy to read that one. So I think I've got it here. I do have it here. So that's a graphic novel. So that should be a nice and quick to read and this looks pretty cool i've heard amazing things about it the artwork looks gorgeous and i believe the story is just this sort of magical adventure so we shall see um shouldn't take me too long to read i don't think Beautiful, so beautifully illustrated, a really intriguing, very cute story. I've heard it gets darker, but volume one is adorable. I'm definitely going to continue with this series. All right, shall I? It's 6 p.m. Can I pick one more book? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I only have two left um, in my glasses case. So I guess we'll see what comes up. Let's just pick this one. And this is, ooh, Summer Frost by Blake Crouch. So I believe that's like 80 pages. I can do this. This is a very sh short novella um, that's part of a science fiction collection. I love Blake Crouch. So I'm gonna give this one a go. Summer Frost. Intriguing. Like it's a pretty cool story about AI and how it can go very, very wrong. Yes, I enjoyed it. I mean, it, it is quite short, but the ideas in it were just pretty incredible. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that. And I do definitely have to continue with some of the other stories in the Ford collection. Anyway, I think this is it. And it's all over. I did it. 48 hours of reading. I am all rejuvenated again next morning. And I'm very proud of myself. I've read quite a bit. So I began with A Prelude to Ashes, which gave me uh, 45 points. Quantum Theory Cannot Hurt Me. 
um, then Tombs of Atuan, then the Martian Chronicles, then Psalm for the Wild Built, then Witch Hat Atelier, and then Summer Frost. And then I decided to, after I last spoke to you, to listen to The Dispatcher by John Skelsey on audiobook. It's a really short audiobook. And so I listened to that in bed and finished it this morning before 8 a.m. So I'm going to count that as well. So Peace Talks, final tally, I gained 242 points for Enya and I read a total of 1,509 pages. Wow, I'm happy with that. Super happy with that. Yes, and the best of all of that is I've actually got four books done from my actual April TBR. I've only got three to go for the month and I'm only halfway. This is awesome. Excellent, especially since I'm moving. So thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope I didn't bore you with watching me read. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Thank you to all those who have subscribed. I am eternally grateful. You make me very, very happy. And until I see you next time, take care.